Hello everyone. So I wanted to talk to you a little bit about EDS when you get in a wreck. Now, some things to be aware of is that whenever we move, the it's the tendons that hold the body in place for a regular person. Especially when something moves you, you're the thing that usually stops you if it's a small movement or whatever is your tendons it that's what keeps everything in place as it goes on it can start if it's a harder push things like that it can start impacting the muscles and the muscles can act and then things start to tear and to have issues or to move, not hold things correctly things like that so being aware of that, and then with EDS, the tendons don't hold correctly. So what happens? Well, a few days ago, at the time of the recording of this video, I had, was in a parking spot, sitting there doing a few things in my car, and someone tried to take the parking spot next to me. And the parking spot wasn't big enough. They didn't realize it in time. And so they pushed the car a little bit. Normally, wouldn't have caused problems for anyone else. Yes, there was car some damage at the back of the car. But most people probably would have been able to go on their way and not have any issues. However, for me, with EDS, there were issues. Luckily, one, I had a PT appointment already scheduled for an hour, about an hour after the wreck. It was just a fluke, but luckily it was already scheduled. So I went in to that appointment. And he found that, first of all, my neck had moved so much. And I had noticed this between the end of the wreck and the start of the PT appointment that I was starting to have trouble swallowing. There was a lump. Well, he realized that my vertebrae had moved enough that it was actually causing a kink slightly in my esophagus. Had I not had the PT appointment scheduled, I would have had to go for to a medical doctor for care to get that back into place. I also had most of my vertebrae in my back were out of place. My color bone was out of place and the ball and socket joint in my shoulder had slipped just slightly. Um, my hips had the usual flare and rotation. We don't know if that was due to the wreck it could have been or it could have been otherwise. That's a bit more common for me. Luckily my SI didn't slip because of everything we've done, but, and then I did have my femur, my fibular head had slipped slightly. Many of these things are things that would take a higher speed rack, you know, like the neck whiplash is that same idea. Well, because of the EDS, the tendons weren't holding, all of that happened. Another result of it was it took me a few days to even start to recover. The next day I was basically dead. Uh, all I could do really for most of the day was sleep. That's the good thing about and why I actually do pre-recorded videos. Because if I didn't, I wouldn't be able to keep this channel going on a regular basis and have the videos for you guys you want because you never know when something like you're gonna get hit is gonna happen um so there's that it doesn't just affect immediately it affects for a few days each day has gotten a bit better but the muscles obviously were worked from that more than would have been worked had that not happened and that takes more energy and then the energy to re heal 
Plus, my PT sure that some of the rest is still going to slip. He's pretty sure this upper is going to slip again. And we're going to have to take care of that next week. So, I hope that helps you understand maybe some of the things that happen with EDS and Rex. And be to be aware that even a minor fender bender can lead to the need for at least PT or other treatment if you have EDS. I hope that helps and thank you for your time and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.